Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Chen's Medical Videos. In this video, I'm going to discuss who is at risk of zinc deficiency, the signs and symptoms of zinc deficiency, and the benefits and harms of zinc supplement. Zinc is an essential trace element for humans. It is present in some foods, dietary supplements, and certain over-the-counter drugs. Zinc is found throughout human body. It is involved in many aspects of cellular metabolism, such as enzyme activity, regulation of gene expression, protein structure. Zinc plays important roles in growth and development, immune function, neural transmission, vision, reproduction, wound healing. Zinc is required for proper sense of taste and smile. Clinical benefits of zinc supplements include reducing the duration but not the severity of common cold symptoms and decreasing the risk of developing advanced age-related macular degeneration. Because human body cannot store zinc, a daily intake of zinc is required to maintain a steady state. The National Academy of Medicine has established the daily recommended allowances for zinc. Adults require a higher amount of zinc as compared to children. Pregnant women and lactating mothers also require a higher daily intake of zinc. Although almost one-third of the world population suffer from zinc deficiency, the majority of Americans have adequate zinc intake. However, the following groups of people are more susceptible to zinc inadequacy. People with medical conditions such as intestinal diseases like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, chronic diarrhea, malabsorption syndrome, chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, sickle cell disease, diabetes, malignancy, alcohol dependence. Pregnant women, lactating mothers, and vegetarians are more likely to have zinc inadequacy. The absorption of zinc from vegetarian diets is lower than that from non-vegetarian diet. In addition, beans, nuts, potatoes, and whole grains contain high levels of phytates that bind zinc and inhibit its absorption. Therefore, vegetarians may require as much as 50% more of the recommended zinc intake than non-vegetarians. Infants aged 7 to 12 months who are fed exclusively with breast milk do not get the recommended amount of zinc, which is 3 mg a day. In addition to breast milk, this group of infants should get additional zinc from either table foods or formula containing zinc. People on long-term use of thiazide diuretics may develop zinc deficiency due to increased urinary excretion of zinc. Zinc deficiency can cause growth retardation, loss of appetite, impaired immune function, taste abnormalities, delayed wound healing, brain fog, hair loss, diarrhea, etc. People at risk of zinc deficiency should have daily diets rich in zinc. A variety of foods provide good sources of zinc. Oysters, red meat, poultry, dairy products, seafoods such as crab and lobster contain high levels of zinc. Beans, nuts, whole grains, fortified breakfast cereals are also good sources of zinc. Supplemental zinc may be needed for people who cannot get adequate amount of zinc from foods. A variety of zinc supplements are available. Among different forms of zinc, zinc sulfate is the least easily absorbed and it may cause stomach upset. Other forms of zinc are more easily absorbed. They include zinc picolinate, zinc citrate, zinc acetate, zinc gluconate, zinc glycinate, and zinc monomacyanin. The Food and Nutrition Board has established the tolerable upper intake levels for zinc. Zinc toxicity can occur if it is taken excessively. Acute adverse effects of high zinc intake include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, etc. Chronic adverse effects of excessive zinc intake include low copper status, reduced immune function, lower levels of high-density lipoproteins, increased hospitalizations due to genital urinary causes. Thank you for watching. 
as you continue to make medical videos relevant to your health. Stay healthy and see you next time.